All right. <clears throat> now you can see that I've gone on and put in the rest of the hair, tried to keep a good flow to it and everything. And uh, he's starting to shape up. Well, now we're going to go ahead and do the eyes. I'm going to come right alongside the, the nose here, and I'm going to put a mark. That's the inside corner of his eye. And I'm going to come out about right there. And that's just about the size of the nose. I'm going to put that mark there. And I'm going to come right here, and about where the center of the brow is, I'm going to let this eye slant down like so. So I'm going to draw me a line. Okay? Now you could take your dividers if you really want to and, and, and measure all this, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. Line him up here, make the eye about the same length, look at him right here, draw in my, my line. Okay, and that pretty much defines my eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the simple eye on this one. If you want a, uh, a better eye, you can go to YouTube. <coughs> and look at my eye carving tutorial or you can buy the DVD either one it doesn't matter but I'm going to start up in here and I come up about a 45 for a little while and I want this eye to be squinty I don't want him to have a big eye so I'm going to come and draw that down just like that and I'm going to come below and I'm going to come now I'm going to come almost to diagonally to make the biggest part of the eye below it coming down right here and I'm going to come just like that and I'm going to come over here on the other side and I'm going to try to draw as much as possible the same eye. Okay, and take a look at that. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to uh, take my detail knife and I'm going to come and stick it right in the corner here. Make that deep and I'm going to come and stick it right in the corner there. Make a nice cut. And I'm going to make a nice straight up and down stop cut. And I'm going to come all the way down to here. All right. I'm going to turn him over where I can get to him. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. All right. Now I'm going to take this knife. I'm going to stick it right. I'm going to come out about a third of the way. And I'm going to run it in at an angle and take out that little chip. We're actually carving what I call a football eye here. Do the same thing on the other side. Nope, I didn't make my stop cut good enough. That little chip should. Well, guess what I just did? I just broke my knife. Okay. It just so happens I got another one sitting right here. Alright. Got a piece of metal stuck in there, I think. Having a hard time getting that corner cut out because I think I got a piece of my blade stuck right in there. Alright, now then I'm very carefully going to kind of try to round that eyeball up at the top right here from both sides. It's hard for me to see this. I usually wear my magnifiers when I do this, but because I'm wearing a microphone headset I can't do that and I'm going to round it down in the bottom here very carefully you notice I'm just taking little shavings actually right. and there is an eye very plain very simple eye but it looks pretty good I think I don't know how well you can see that but there it is now then but I'm not going to leave it quite like that. I can't hardly stand that. If you've got it, you can use a very small V-tool to do the next part. Although, I'm going to cheat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right in here. And I'm going to delineate the top of his brow. Or excuse me, his eyelid right here. And I'm gonna, you're going to come down here. And you're going to come down here. Now, you got to go from centered out and center in on this. You don't want to try to cut that in one line because it's it'll be uh, going against the grain part of the way and it'll chip out. Okay, and get back in that cut. I'm going to come and go completely out here. Now what I'm using here, and you could do that with a knife I suppose, but it is so much easier and looks so much better to do it with a small V-tool. This is about a one millimeter V-tool. came out of a Ramelson micro set but you use whatever you have. 
then I'm going to come underneath the eye. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and kind of lay this back just a little bit so I've got room to uh, round that down a little bit more too, I think. I've got room to do this. And what I'm going to do, I'll show you. I'm going to come down here and put a bag. It's going to come like this. And it's going to come back up. And I'm going to cut something here in a minute first. And I'm going to put another line right here. And another line right there. To add a little detail to this eye. But what I'm going to do first is right here where I made that cut. I'm going to take a little scoop so I can tuck that bottom eyelid under the top eyelid. It just looks better. Okay, I'm going to take my tool and we'll start in the center. I'm going to come right here, like so. And I'm going to get right underneath and I'm going to come and almost go straight up at the end. And that puts that bag in his eye. Alright, and I'm going to come and put another little line right alongside it there. And I'm going to drop below that line here and I'm going to put another one coming up. Okay. And I hope you can see that I'll turn it several different ways so that you can see that I put some wrinkles and bags under his eye. Now I'm going to come out here and put a crow's foot. I'm going to let that come out and turn down. I'm going to go and do another one, let it turn up. Then I'm going to drop right under here and I'm going to put a couple of little squiggly lines just to give him a little detail, a little wrinkle detail right there, you see. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to go back and get my 1 8 number 7 here, and I'm going to do a negative eye. I'm going to stick it right in there. Now, I'm not going to center this. I don't like that 1,000-yard stare. And I'm just going to let it round up, kind of. See how I'm just kind of rounding that up? And I'm also pushing it down in the wood. Take my knife and make me a nice, neat cut right up in there. And... Have to work it a little bit more here. Like so. Have to work it a little bit down in the bottom. Alright. Get my little stop cut a little cleaner. And there you have hope you can see that a nice negative eye now you're going to come over here and do the same thing and you'll notice i kind of well actually i put it right in the center but you're going to cut the same eye now i'm not going to do that i'm going to let y'all i'm going to do that off camera but i am going to do the next part which actually you could leave all this area alone but i like to round it up a little bit take my five sixteenths number seven and you have to kind of here again start in the middle and go down and it just kind of what I'm doing is just knocking the edge off that brow making it look a little better and I'm going to come back right here and do the same thing okay also if you decide to uh, put uh, some eyebrows on this guy this gives you a place to do it so and it looks better too alright kind of rounding that up a little bit right there and then you can actually take this and turn it over and put a little divot right here not much one just a little divot okay then I can take my miniature uh, V tool and I'll come out here and here again I make these a, a little bit of an S curve and as they go out, I'll lay them down. So I'll come right here. And this takes a very small V-tool the way I do them. Now, some people do them with a bigger one. And if you don't have a small V-tool, well, just do it with a bigger one and cut it light. And that'll work. Now, see, as I go out, then I start curving it back towards the outside of the face. And you can just put in a few few of those in there and then I'm going to also take this while I got it and put a few forehead wrinkles in there and uh, a forehead wrinkle is kind of a modified W or U kind of goes up and down and out like so I don't know if you can see that very good okay and I put two or three and each one of them is a little bit shorter now 
wrinkles can be all kinds and these I wouldn't necessarily say this is you know anatomically correct but it looks pretty good on a on a green man or on a wood spirit to put a few wrinkles in like that okay got a few wrinkles now I'm also going to come back and start doing some detailing I'm going to come right in here I'm going to put a good deep stop cut and then I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to lay it back a little bit and I'm going to kind of cut this line make it show up better See, I just cut a little chip out of there and made that show up better and then actually I will make sure I've got a good line around all the way around his mustache and I'll take my knife and lay it back and just cut a little sliver and this makes the uh, the mustache stand out a little bit more especially if you uh, uh, stain it or something like that and I'll do the same thing do the same thing on the inside of the mustache just lay that knife back cut a little sliver out of there like that to go the other direction down here and it's kind of hard to see probably on the camera but that does make the uh, the mustache stand out a little bit more like so any place you have a, a change a transition I like to put a good clear stop cut to it and the same thing on the side of the face you may have to work on it a little bit more uh, I want a good clean transition so I'll come back and put my stop cuts and cut back to them that is the secret to a clean carving a good clean stop cut and cut back to it okay now I'm gonna go off camera let me show you one other thing now down in here like where your mustache hits here you could come back and kind of follow that groove right there just right off the end of it and then here again you can come back and take a, just a narrow slice really and uh, you can do that on all 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 the tips and it, you just kind of make them stand out is what you do uh, and it looks really good there we go like so so you can do that same thing here just make you a little cut there back and it's details like this it turns your simple wood spirit into a really nice one now I'm making this short so I'm not going to go into that too much one one other thing you'll come back and of course uh, smooth up the face a little bit with a with a tool or even a little piece of sandpaper although I think sandpaper is cheating so I don't ever use it but and before you know it you'll have yourself a good looking green man when I come back this is basically going to be finished and we'll talk about some details some other things clean up and this will be the finish hopefully there you go okay folks here we are here's the finished wood spirit you notice I finished carving in his eyes uh, and I also added a couple of little v, v tool cuts on each side and cleaned him up now I never touch this with sandpaper I clean him up a little bit with just some scraping one thing and another and then I took him in and took some uh, dish soap and put it in a hot and uh, put it in a dish of hot water and took a uh, took a toothbrush and just cleaned him up and you might even notice some little dark spots that's where it's still wet uh, took it in there and took a hair dryer to it and there you go that makes a good looking simple wood spirit now you can use this wood spirit like I did here off the corner or you could carve this wood spirit on a log uh, driftwood or on a on a cane to use a cane what you do is you lay out the area where you're going to put your face go ahead and 45 it just like I did here that keeps the face from looking flat well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it and this is the third in my series of carving off the corner y'all stay tuned I think I'm going to do an Indian next it may be a week or two before I get started on it but uh, y'all just hang in there and this is Gary McDaniel three crosses wood carving saying y'all come carve with us now you hear
Goodbye.